Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install and some of the features of the adjustable trail cam mount, uh, GoPro mount, whatever you want to use this. It has a standard GoPro adapter on it and you can mount almost anything with a quarter 20 or a GoPro style three prong action cam mount. And then I'm going to show you how to actually install it on a tree. I'll zoom in so you can see that. Some of the features that are included with this style of mounting, you get the full flexibility of both pivoting and rotating your camera uh, when mounting either higher up in a tree on public land, which is common, or just getting the right angle to point towards the game that you're or the trail that you're, you're trying to monitor with your trail camera. Um, you can also use this up in the tree as a second angle camera mount. Um, it'll, it'll attach with both a one inch standard strap, the strap that you normally get with your trail camera, or something that I have been testing and has been working out pretty well is either a piece of five millimeter rope uh, 764 and steel rope which will come with the mount and I'll show you why specifically here in a little bit or a piece of paracord so any one of those can be used to mount this specific mount included will be the and steel rope because I I like a rope that's not going to stretch provides a little bit more stability with the mount itself and you'll see that once we go through the install so there's a few reasons why you'd want or need a, a pivot mount for your trail camera. One, it's just nice to be able to put your, your camera on the tree and put it to the angle that you need it when adjusting for the, the game cam or the game that you're after uh, or a trail or, or something. Um, you don't always have that perfect uh, place tree to to pick out and this will give you a little bit more flexibility to maybe point it in a direction that um, you know you might not might not have available to you if you just strap the camera to the tree. Um, the other reason for me specifically is for public land. Um, I like to hang my cameras just a little bit higher above the eye level of the average person walking through the woods so they you know think twice or they don't even see it so they can't steal it. Um, so with that, you've got to hang it up higher. You do need to pivot your trail camera usually downward. I have experimented with a couple heights in the tree and I find that right around that six to eight foot level is ideal and still being able to capture the game. Otherwise that angle becomes real difficult. So that was, that's one reason. The other reason that is specific to this mount and the paracord or the rope option and a lot of times you'll, I'll be walking through public land and I just see this, the strap and know that there's a camera on the tree. So this gives you one less uh, reason for somebody to pick your camera out. Um, and then the final thing that I'm testing and I've, I've noticed some results. I know every deer is different. It just seems that the deer are less noticing of that camera. So, you know, you, everybody's got that deer where they get one picture of the deer looking right at the camera and they never see it again. A lot of things that go into that, but this might provide one more thing um, in order to keep your cameras also undetected by the deer. So let's get into how we actually install with the paracord and then I can show you also with the strap it works the same way. Alright, so we're zoomed in and I'm going to go through the install here. Um, so with the adjustable mount, you're going to get an Amsteel rope, 764 rope with a loop tied on the end. And you'll see in the top there's a, a T-style wrap feature that is going to that is printed into the design of the mount itself. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hook one end on and then you would wrap that around and you're gonna come through the bottom and up through the middle as tight as you can to get that tight and you're going to come back and almost create a loop on the other side of the mount 
and you're gonna wrap around and come back up through the middle and then do the, so you're gonna basically do a figure eight around that mount. And that's what it's gonna look like. What I've been playing around, I like to, there's gonna be a little bit of slack from the tag in through the, that final side. But now, that is solid. If you keep that just a little bit loose, it's got a slot in there where you slide. You can slide the mount in, right be behind, and the strap comes over, and it goes into the slot. <clears throat> and then you can tighten up your strap. And there you are, you're set again. So as far as the strap and the paracord, I find stability and everything is very much the same. So for me, um, I'll probably be using the rope option a little bit more than the strap just because it creates a little less bulk um, if you're putting out a bunch of cameras, a little less visible out in the, out in the woods, especially on public land.